This is Witchspace News for Friday the 11th of October 2019 ...I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news ...a new interstellar initiative launches in the game ...September patch version 3 hits the servers ...Frontier premieres a new community driven livestream series and we'll also have a liberal sprinkling of community news that's caught our eye this week. Remember to hit like and subscribe and click the little bell icon to get notified when we upload a new video. You can also join us on the Burr Pit Discord server where we organise all our community events and if you want to help support the work of this channel you'll also find us on Patreon. Links to everything you need are in the description below. A new interstellar initiative launched into the game this week. The opening stage of the Scourge sees commanders bringing grain, pesticides and synthetic reagents to a region of space on the brink of economic strife following bizarre and simultaneous crop failures across multiple systems. The story seems to be part of an ongoing storyline that has been seeded in the recently revamped Galnet newsfeed. One of the promises of the Galnet revamp was that its content would be made more in-game relevant and the ongoing saga involving the Rockforth Corporation and their super fertilizer all seems to be part of this initiative from Frontier. As of our recording the first tier on both of the two newly introduced community goals associated with the Scourge Interstellar initiative have already been hit. The initiative was only launched on Thursday so it's safe to assume that there is clearly an appetite for this plot driven content within the community and the interstellar initiatives prior to this have all been generally very well received as well. So tinfoil hats on. What's causing this scourge on the crops? Is it just a greedy corporation causing a problem and then magically arriving with the cure to fix it? Are there some darker strings being pulled by a shadowy organisation to manipulate the well-being and health of the galaxy from behind the scenes maybe? Or is this sudden mass failure of our food supplies part of a new phase of assaults by the Thargoids? They couldn't get us with firepower so they turn to biological and chemical weapons and attempt to hit the food chain. Maybe softening us up before the main offensive on the bubble begins anew. That's what I'd do to be honest but I'm evil and the jury is still out on the Thargoid menace and their motives. What do you think? Sound off in the comments. Frontier premiered a new live stream series this week entitled Full Throttle. The Full Throttle series will focus on the many and varied racing and competitive sports generated by the community that have sprung up around the game. In the premiere episode last night forum luminary, friend of the channel and serial nice bloke Alec Turner was an honoured guest on the show invited into voice chat to talk about buckyball racing and in particular the Perico challenge event which is running right now. In the event players are challenged to a time trial circuit landing at 6 stations sitting in very close proximity to each other in the Perico system. The event runs until Sunday night so if you're curious to have a go yourself then head over to the buckyball forum post linked below for the details on how to participate. As I mentioned last nights Full Throttle is just the first of a new series and it's brilliant to see Frontiers community team reaching out to the community event creators and shining a light on what is a huge part of Elite's appeal ...the player driven emergent behaviour within the game. The third patch to fix issues introduced in the September update launched this week bringing with it a bunch of new fixes. Things like the mission board should now be fixed as well as the missing graphical effects for flak launchers. There's a link to the full patch notes below if you want to catch up on what just got squashed. Operation Ida, the player driven effort to repair the stations disabled by Thargoid Assault announced that Lang Point in the Tangua system was completed this week and they're now turning their efforts towards Polya Station in the Harigi system. With the lull in Thargoid attacks it's often forgotten that whilst the war may have paused the efforts to clean up the mess it's left in its wake haven't. And if you have some spare cargo capacity then Operation Ida could always find a use for it. Links to find them are in the description below. The Flintlock Engineering Channel launched proper on YouTube this week. The new channel will see the self confessed engineer obsessive Captain James Flint offering advice, guidance and tutorials on all things engineering within the game. 
The channel launched with the buttery voiced captain detailing laser based weapons and their various engineering options. Captain Flint really does know his stuff and is also a super friendly and very approachable bloke with vocals made from pure syrup. Engineering can be a somewhat sticky minefield. Captain James is the chocolate verbal minesweeper. You heard it here first. Do give the good captain a sub. And finally the East India Company is launching the Elite Aid 24 hour charity marathon in aid of the Rural Fire Brigade Association of Queensland that fights bushfires in Australia with an army of 14,000 volunteer brigades and more than 36,000 volunteers. The livestream event in aid of the organisation starts at 2300 hours UTC on the 18th of October. You can find details in the East India Company press release which is linked below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.